Hi all. Today we will discuss Francis Bacon. Sir Francis Bacon, fifteen sixty one to sixteen twenty six. Francis Bacon is the first and the greatest of the English essays. His essays are a landmark in the history of English literature. He belongs both to the Elizabethan and Jacobean periods. He has been regarded as the father of English essays. Bacon's style is called aphoristic style. An aphoristic style means a compact and epigrammatic style of writing. An aphorism is a short sentence expressing a truth in the fewest possible words. It is like a proverb which has a quotable quality. Bacon's sentences are brief and rapid. First, he gives the idea in condensed form, then he expands. The style of Bacon is not the personal and chatty style of the subjective essays like Mondaine and Lamb. Bacon gives opinions and never speaks of himself. He speaks like a statesman or a moralist. Bacon calls his essays as dispersed meditations, pithy jottings rather apt than curious. He writes on a variety of themes such as family life, politics, marriage, friendship, studies and many others. His essays have been highly admired for their practical wisdom and universality of appeal. The word essay was first used by the French writer Mundi from whom Bacon adopted it. Major words of Bacon First one Essays. His book, Volume of Essays, is best known to the English readers. The essays were published in three successive editions. The first volume came out in 1597. It contained 10 essays. The second volume contained 38 essays published in the year 1612. The third volume under the title Essays or Council Civil and Moral contained 58 essays published in 1625. Second work, The Advancement of Learning, published in 1605. It describes the condition of learning and how it could be improved. Third one, The New Atlantis, published in the year 1627. One of his last writings. It was a sketch of an ideal commonwealth beyond the sea. It resembles Thomas More's Utopia, but it is more practical though it a dream. Fourth one, Novum Organum, published in the year 1620. It was written in Latin and translates to English as New Method or New Instrument of Science. In this, he introduces a reasoning process called Baconian Method. This method advocates inductive reasoning, which influenced the development of scientific method in modern science. These are the main points related to Francis Bacon. So, winding up the topic, thanks for watching.